In this video, I'll be working through the question you see on the screen from the Pure Maths Paper 3, specifically Paper 3.1 from Cambridge A-Level exams from 2024. If you're looking for any other question from this paper, you should find a playlist in the description below. And if you're looking for any other paper, look around on my channel. I'll be doing all this on a whiteboard, hopefully just like you're used to your teacher doing. But of course, this is in the classroom, we're on YouTube, so go ahead and take advantage of that. Pause, rewind, watch at 2x speed, whatever you find useful. If you find any of my videos useful, uh, I would appreciate like, subscribe, or sharing it with someone else doing the A-level exams. Question seven is all about complex numbers, and in part A, they give us these two equations, and basically they ask us to draw it on an argon diagram. Now, they don't quite say that. They say sketch the loci given by these equations. Uh, the loci is just a, a, a set of points. Now the set of points will turn into a line, or in this case, in this question, a line and a circle. So basically there's lots of points that will answer these equations, millions of them, and they'll look like a line or a circle. I'll, I'll explain more as we go on. Um, yeah, let me just draw an argon diagram. Now you should be using proper ruled paper a ruler, a compass, just get it as accurate as you can. Don't spend too much time on it, it's only four marks for the question. But still, better than I do, but don't spend too much time. Okay, how do I read this equation here? So this is the modulus. This is talking about distance, these two straight lines here. What this is saying is the distance between x, x is a complex number, and, uh, and this number here is equal to two at least when I, when I change a couple of things, uh, because we don't want it quite like this. I want the x minus something. That's how we read what I just said. The distance between uh, z, sorry, z and whatever's here is two. And whatever's here, if I take a minus out both of them, three, and this will turn into a minus two i. So now what I'm saying is z is two away from this point. And I can draw this point. This point is three minus two. I go out three, I go down uh, minus two. I get that point. And then draw every single point that is two away from it. Everything that's two away, that's two away. That's two away. Everything that's two away, you get a circle. So obviously you get a compass, put it on the, a two, put it two, at two units and draw a circle. That's, um, that's the answer for this part. That's the, the loci of points, millions of points that just turn into a full circle. Let me fill in the circle actually. That's how we read that. This one is somewhat similar. Let me change it again. W minus three minus two I, um, it's the same, same one as up here equals w minus what goes in this bracket that'd be minus 3 and plus 4i so let's put this point in first of all minus 3 plus 4i would be somewhere up around here okay that's this point now what's this saying this is saying the distance away from w is equal to the distance away from sorry the, the distance away from 3 minus 2i is equal to the distance away from minus 3 plus 4i. So basically they're saying w is some point that's the same distance from this and this. Now I don't have a ruler, which hopefully you will have, so I'll just do my best to draw a straight line. Um, so the same distance from both these points, that would be the middle of these two, which I, I do know from later in the question falls exactly on the y-axis. But again, you don't need to know that for a, just a sketch. Um, although, of course, you could use your compass and bisect this line. So this point here is the same distance from here as from here, and that's what this line says. Now you get marked for putting this point in, but it's not the only, the only point that's the same distance from both of them. If I go perpendicular here, every point on this line is the same distance from here as here. This is a famous question, there. it'll come up every second year probably in the exams. So you should have covered it. So you actually get this line here. Hopefully this line I've put in is only in maybe pencil or something. This is the, this is the W line as it were. And this circle here is the Z 
circle. Every dot in this circle is Z. Every dot on this line is W. And that's the answer to um, part A. Now in part B, they ask us to um, hence find the value of Z minus W. Uh, find the least value, I'm sorry, the sort of minimum value, the smallest value we can get from this. Uh, from the points of loci, that's the W points and the uh, Z points. Give your answer in exact form. Looks scary this question. Um, you can you can do it a few ways. Uh, you could just think of this now as coordinate geometry. They're asking you the distance from this circle to this line. That's um, simply all they're asking you. You could do it in vectors, I'm sure, which uh, I haven't done here. But there is a much easier way to do this. Uh, first of all, let's ask, uh, w w what are they asking? The distance from this line to this circle, is it here to here? Is that the smallest we can get? No, we can get, that's shorter. Um, is that the shortest we can get? Um, no, and hopefully you see the shortest point would be actually from here to here. That's the shortest point between this line and this circle. So just to draw that one more time, we have a circle um, and we have a point here. That's the distance we're looking for. Now this question comes up all the time in maths. I'd say I see it every exam, a question like this in different sections. Finding the distance from a point, the shortest distance to the circle. And it's not that hard. It's actually, we want to work out the distance to the center and then just take away the radius. That's all I want to do here. Find the distance from the center, from here to the center and take away uh, the radius. And we know the center here. The center was, um, if I put just put it in its coordinate geometry, three, two. Uh, this point up here was, um, let me look at minus three, four. So really the question is, what's this point in the middle? And it's just the midpoint, the midpoint of these two. The middle between, sorry, that should be plus three and minus two. Um, the middle between three and minus three is zero. Like I said, I knew that happened to lie on the y-axis. The middle between four and minus two is just one. So we know what this point is here. And um, so now it's just a question, what's the distance from here to this point? There's a there's a distance formula, but I often I often like just to use the triangle. Um, the distance here is three from here to here. The distance uh, was that one down to minus two. That's also three. So it's just Pythagoras theorem. Three squared is nine, plus three squared is nine, is 18, square root of 18 is at uh, this point here. So um, this whole line, this whole line is square root of 18, take away this part of it, which is two. We already knew the radius of this circle was two from earlier. So the answer to this question is, um, let's say square root of 18, minus two, or we could make that a little neater, nine comes out at square root of nine, square root of two, minus two, three, square root of two, minus two. Just check my answer. Yeah, that's uh, that's full marks for uh, question seven. It wasn't actually that long of a question. If you, if you knew how to recognize these and what they're saying, they're saying distance from here to here. Uh, go back over the book, um, prove to yourself that that is correct. It's Interesting enough proof. I won't go away. It's a bit beyond the scope of this video to go into it now. But um, yeah, it's a, I thought it was a good short question. Um, if you have any follow-up questions, uh, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.